saw it. Julie talked about it. President Obama was here last night. Y'all saw him. He said, I'm a celebrity. Yeah. He got that one wrong, didn't he? I'm not a celebrity. I'm that warrior for God. And uh, he, got, he got something else wrong, too. You remember two years ago, he told us to vote for Joe Biden, didn't he? He got that one wrong, did he not? Hey, he got that one wrong. He lost twice to George already, hasn't he? So I think he probably need to set this one out. Don't you think so? He probably need to set this one out because let me tell you, this was so funny. He said that he wouldn't get me to be a pilot. I wouldn't hire him to be a pilot either, would you? Hey, I, hey, I haven't taken my pilot license, have I? So he got that one wrong. And then I tell you what he will hire me to do before he hire a, a, a Warnock. I bet he'll hire me to be on his debate team before he get Warnock with him now. Yeah. But anyway, I, I just want to tell you guys this. People ask me why I'm running. I'm going to tell you, this is really short. And I don't know if nobody can't get it. They won't understand this. After two years, you see where we're at today. After two years, you see where we're at today. Gas prices is up. Gas prices is up. Your utility bill is going to go up. Right now, crime is up. This board is wide open. They're destroying this country. There's men and women's sports. And I said it the other day, they don't even know the definition of a woman yet. They still talking about that, aren't they? I can tell you the definition of a woman because they're written in my Bible. And it said man and woman. And the woman is from the rib of a man. And I'm going to let y'all know this too because they're trying to fool you here. A man can't get pregnant. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about things like that. What we need to talk about, we need leaders in Washington that got guts to do the right thing. So if President Obama, I'm like, where has he been? Where has he been since all this been going on? He's been in his nice house, hasn't he? I haven't seen him. Did he bring in a cheaper gas? Did he bring in a cheaper groceries? So what did he come here to do? To try to get you to let him uh, in the, what, uh, one hour. Are you serious? Are you really serious? The man was so confused at that debate, he couldn't even speak anymore. Do y'all see that? I had to answer his question for him. And then he tried to throw Bible verses. Right now, he said that he's a minister. He said it last night. He's a minister and he's a senator. I'm telling you, he need to pick one because he's not good at either one of them. I'm telling you, he's not good at either one of them. And that is the honest truth. Like it or not, like it or not, he hasn't done a job at either one of them because in the Bible I read, that one of the main things it says in the Bible, a house divided cannot stand. And yet he's trying to divide people because of their color of their skin. But in that Bible I read, the Bible I read, God will know about the color of your skin. God knew about your heart. He knows about your heart. That's what's so funny. In the Bible I read, say I believe in life. Because remember he said God gives us a choice. He is right about that. He gives you a choice, but God also tells you to choose life. He don't tell you to choose that, but you're choosing. So what he's doing, I called him the other day, and I said, you know what, Reverend? You are going to be a Reverend today, so what you do, you send the people to hell. Because what you're trying to do right now, you're that Marxist that I heard about. That Marxist don't want to abolish the police. Because he, he called them thugs and bullies. Y'all know what he called them, police officers. Last night, he said he support police. He's that liar, too. So he's a bold-faced liar. He don't support police. He know he don't. So quit lying, but Obama is standing there with him trying to cheer him on. I'm telling you, he need to go take a bite seat to this because he hasn't done right by us. He's living in this nice mansion out there where he's living at. Had made all this money. And now, let me tell you, I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Neither one of them want to get their hands dirty. They're wearing them nice suits, walking all nice and stuff, talking all sweet. Let me tell you, don't trust nobody like that. Anybody come in talking all nice, dressed so nice, don't trust him because they don't get dirty. You got to get dirty to get this straightened out right now. You got to get dirty to get it straightened out. And that's why God brought me. So I'm ready to get dirty. So I'm sorry to tell y'all this. And I want to say, I'm sorry to tell former President Obama, I'm sorry. I'm going to pray for him. I'm going to pray for him because he needs some help. He needs some help because he got rid of the wrong horse. Because Senator Warnock is the wrong horse. You know he can't do the job. And it's time for him to leave. So don't let the door hit your butt as you're walking out of the people.